Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released another update in the same week after April 2022 security badge but this time it's Android QPR 3 Beta 2. If you're not familiar with the QPR builds, they will simply give you early access to the new features that Google will release in the upcoming feature drops. And I installed Beta 2 on my Pixel 6 Pro to show you every new change. But before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel to get notified about my upcoming videos. And now let's jump in. Let's start with the build number. It's S3B1.220318.003 and I have it here installed on my Pixel 6 Pro. Keep in mind that this build is only for bug fixes and performance improvements and I couldn't spot any new features yet. However, I will show you other features in Google Apps that I got at the same time with this update and that will make the video a little bit more interesting but it has nothing to do with this update specifically. Let's start with the bug fixes and the first one is related to the phone app. In QPR3 beta 1 we used to have a weird bug that produces a very noisy peep sound during phone calls and I did experience this issue myself. The issue happens all of a sudden and the peep sound stays for about 5 to 10 seconds and then goes away but as per the release notes of beta 2 this issue should be resolved. Fix number two is for an issue in Google Maps UI. For some people when they start navigation, they might see weird UI clipping at the bottom part of the screen. I didn't experience this issue myself, but if you did, please let me know if beta 2 did sort it out for you. Fix number three is related to an issue in Google Messages. In beta one, the app used to crash or fail when you try to send a message that was sourced from a QR code scanning. So let me give you an example. Here's one of the QR codes I have on the screen. When I scan it using my camera, as you see, I have a chip here that allows me to send an SMS to this number right away. In beta one, this action might lead to an app crash, which is no longer the case in beta two. Fix number four and the last one is also in the phone app. For some people using the back gesture while searching might lead to an app crash, which is no longer the case in beta two. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount and instead of the regular 20%. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is insanely cheap. And the purchase process is very simple. Just click on buy now, choose your preferred payment method. In my case, I will choose PayPal. Sign in with your PayPal account and click on pay now. After successfully paying, click on return to merchant to continue your order. And now the payment is done and the order number is showing on the screen. After a few seconds, the website will redirect you to the purchases page. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, under the system page, scroll all the way down and click on about. Then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code you just copied here, click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. And if you are interested in Microsoft Office, you can get the full 2019 Professional Plus package for $45.82 after discount using the same promo code ID20. Please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review. Now let me show you some new features I spotted right after installing this update, but keep in mind it has nothing to do with this build. These new features Google pushed at the same time, so I decided to share them in the same video to make things a bit more interesting. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the at a glance widget. When you tap on the gear icon and then scroll down, you will see two new toggles. One is called connected devices, which will show you the battery percentage of your Bluetooth connected devices on your at a glance widget and this feature is part of Marsh feature drop but I didn't see it up until installing this build. So let me show you a quick demonstration here. I have my pixel buds and I will connect them to my phone and then wait for a few seconds. As you see now I have the battery percentage right on my at a glance widget and also the name of the Bluetooth device. And when I switch to my lock screen I see the same thing on my always on display and also the lock screen. And when you tap on your at a glance widget in this scenario, it will take you right away to the connected devices page under your settings. Also keep in mind when I start the stopwatch or the timer from the clock app, I'm not able to see the counters anymore on the at a glance widget while having this information shown. One more thing worth mentioning here, after resetting my stopwatch, the battery information disappeared from the at a glance widget. And the only way to get this information back is by disconnecting your Bluetooth device and then connect it back again. 
as you see the information is back so maybe this is a bug that google needs to work on in the future the other new toggle under the at a glance widget is called safety check i couldn't try that in reality but it says here safety check countdown from the personal safety app so you should be able to see the countdowns of your safety app here on the widget so that's pretty much it when it comes to the new features but there is one more thing i want to talk about which is the performance of my pixel 6 pro after installing this build and i have to say the device is getting warmer than expected and the battery drains faster i noticed this while recording this video and this is not a good sign for the battery performance also the geekbench scores becomes pretty low if the device is warm as you see here it's 24 11 uh, for the multi-core score and 858 for the single core but after keeping the device for some time to cool down i'm getting better scores that matches april 2022 update which is around 2700 so you need to keep that in mind before installing this build maybe it needs a couple of days to settle down but i'm not sure yet so i'm gonna keep you updated on this so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new features i wanted to share with you in android 12 qpr3 beta 2 please let me know in the comments if i missed any new feature so i will include it in my follow-up videos but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video